everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about my must-haves for spring and I'm really excited to show you kind of the things that I think are essential for spring, kind of more on trends and just things that I love and I am definitely excited to wear this spring. So don't take this as you have to have all these things, but just kind of a general list and maybe we'll help you get inspired for spring and hopefully you're excited for spring because I know I am. But I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with my makeup must-haves for spring. The first thing is a coral lipstick, and this one is actually the lipstick that I use in my latest coral tutorial, which I will link below, and you can see how I paired this, and I'll talk more about the brand and everything, but just a coral lipstick is super in trend for spring, really bright and a big um, statement on your lips. So definitely check out that tutorial link below if you want to check that video out. So my next favorite for spring are cream eyeshadows. So this is actually one of my favorite quads of cream eyeshadows. And again, I used this in my latest tutorial, which was a Blake Lively tutorial. And the eye look that I actually have on today was inspired by that look. So I'll link that below and you can hear more about the, um, you know, what brand and the colors and how I apply them and such. But that's kind of my favorite go-to look for spring, definitely. So my next must-have for spring are pastel nail polishes, and these are my three favorite ones. And this first one is Essie's Spaghetti Strap, so it's just a really pretty baby pink. The next one is What's With The Catitude by OPI, it's a really pretty sky blue color. And the last one is Gargantuan Green Gate. Grape. Gargantuan Green Grape by OPI and it's like kind of a minty green color. So now I'm going to move on to my must-have accessories for spring. And the first thing are bracelets that can be layered. So these are some of my favorite bracelets that I love to layer. And I love layering bracelets because they can add a lot of color to your outfit, but they also kind of add just this carefree vibe. And it, I know it was a big trend last year to have a ton of bracelets, so um, I just I love layering bracelets. I think it's just a really cool kind of summery spring thing to do. Okay, so here are some of my favorite bracelets to layer. The pink one is Pink Quartz, and it's from the brand Dog Eared. This turquoise bracelet is from Forever 21, and it came in one of those bangle sets with many different bracelets. And then this green bracelet, I'm not sure what the stones are, but it's from the brand Dog Eared again, and it has the little tree um, charm on it. So if you're looking on it on the site, it's one with the little tree. And these are my favorite bracelets to layer. My next jewelry item is a turquoise ring, and this is what this one looks like. And I love the color turquoise, especially for spring. It really just brightens up any outfit. It's so girly and pretty, and it looks perfectly paired with some pastel nails. So I definitely think a turquoise ring is a must-have for spring. Okay, and this is my favorite turquoise ring, and it's from Juicy Couture. And as you can see, it has the beautiful gold detailing, and then it has little purple stones around the side of it. My next accessory that is a must-have for spring is a kind of thin cotton floral scarf. And so this is what this one looks like. And I just love scarves. I think they they really do just add a ton of color, especially if you have one like this with some bright, cheerful colors for spring. And I just think they're cute, and especially when it's a little bit colder in the spring months because I know at least where I live, it doesn't get necessarily warm until maybe like June, May time. So I know kind of in March and kind of beginning into April and stuff, it's still a little bit cool. So a scarf is a great way to kind of keep warm, but also look cute and trendy. And then you can also have one like this, which has a bunch of colors, and it just brightens up a very simple outfit. I saw this scarf on Forever 21's online store, and I had to have it. I love all the colorful spring floral print, and it's also very thin, so you can wear it during the springtime and not get too hot. It also has some really cute fringing detail at the bottom. Okay. 
Okay, now this is something that I have to have for spring, and I think you all should go out and buy one too. This is a wide brim straw hat, and these are just so adorable, and they can keep the sun out of your face, but they also have kind of this, not retro, but kind of really kind of old time feel to them, and I think they're so girly, and they're so pretty, and they're inexpensive, and they're just a great thing to have for spring, especially if you're going to lay out by the pool with some friends, or you just want something to kind of spice up your outfit a bit. I love um, a straw wide brim hat like this. So this straw hat was also purchased from Forever 21's online store. And I love this one because if you can see, it has little detailing which actually make hearts. Sun hats are great because they protect your face and your hair from the harmful rays of the sun. So definitely wear one if you're going out. And now my must-have shoes for spring are a pair of white wedges. And these ones have a cork detail um, wedge and then obviously they have this really pretty white leather and it, they have kind of the bow detailing and I think white is such a fresh color and it's great for spring obviously because it looks nice with a little bit of a tan and of course white goes with almost every outfit and you can dress these up, dress them down and they're just a great thing to have for spring. My next favorite accessory for spring is a glam hippie headband and this is definitely one of my favorite ways to kind of wear that hippie headband trend that has been around for a really long time and I actually made this one and the tutorial on how I made this will be linked below. It was really simple to make it, but normally these can retail for up to like $200, ones that you would buy from a department store or a boutique, and you can make your own for like under $10. So I just, I love the way it turned out, and it definitely gives kind of that crystal effect that the ones that are sported by stars give. But you can make one yourself and save all that money and have it to spend on the other spring essential items. So this is the jeweled headband that I created in a tutorial, which will be linked below. And this is how I would wear it. And this jeweled headband kind of hippie vibe has been in for a long time, and especially for the spring and summer. So check out the tutorial if you're interested in making one. So now on to kind of my must-have clothing items for spring. The first one is just a really thin, kind of sheer, girly, ruffly, fluttery top like this. And I love this shirt. It's so pretty. It's so delicate. And I just, I love the way it looks in the spring. It's flowy. It has a great kind of um, material. And it has really pretty detailing. And I just, I think it's like the quintessential spring soft um, feminine look. And I just, I absolutely love it for spring. So I bought this top from H&M while I was in New York, and it has really pretty detailing, as you can see the front of it. And then the sleeves are probably my favorite part. They're really loose and girly and have a really fluttery effect. And the back has a nice kind of triangle V cut. And then as you can see, the shirt is really loose, and it's kind of sheer, so you just put kind of a plain colored cami underneath. And then the back kind of has a longer hemline. But overall, I think a light and airy shirt like this is perfect for spring. The next thing is a denim button-down shirt. And I think these are so cute. These were totally a huge trend last year, but this year they can also be worn. And I just, it, there's so many different things you can do with this. So it's so versatile and many people have one already from last year or you can get one for very cheap at many different stores. So I just, I really like this and I think it's a great layering piece for spring. So I got this denim shirt from The Gap, and here I have paired it over a floral dress to kind of tame down the pattern. And it kind of looks like a jean jacket, but it has a little bit of a slimmer fit, which I like. And then the sleeves are just rolled up. And you could belt it or something too, but it's cute and it acts as kind of a different alternative to a cardigan. And then here I'm going to tie it up, which I think is so cute and kind of retro and maybe a little bit Texan, but I love the look of this. And the last thing is a white blazer. And I am all over this white blazer. It's so adorable. So it looks like this, and it's kind of an oversized, more of like that boyfriend style one. It's so crisp and clean. Again, I love the color white any time of year, but especially for spring. It's a great transition piece with it getting a little bit cooler, um, kind of turning warmer. So I think this is just a staple to have in your spring wardrobe and if you don't have one already you can get one for very inexpensive and you can really do a lot with it dress it up and dress it down and it's just a really nice piece to have um, in your closet and especially to use it for spring 
Okay, so this oversized white blazer was also bought from Forever 21, and it has really pretty kind of silver detailing um, of the buttons. And I love to just kind of roll up the sleeves on this, and this is gray over um, maybe a tank top or even over a floral dress. And I think the look of it is just so crisp and so pretty and perfect for spring. Hey everyone, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave me a comment below telling me what's your must have for spring or you can list a couple things if you want. And I really appreciate your view and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!